Okay, so I was asked the question, like I do A Course in Miracles, like Kant's and Beliefs, God did not create, it's not real, I do The Observer. And then I was also sharing in this group that uh, I've got a sponsor in a money fellowship who's asked me to do spiritual inventory on my financial history. And I said, well, why would you do that? Because, I mean, I've said before, the 12 steps calibrates at, um, at the vibration of unconditional love. And the Course in Miracles uh, vibrates at the level of the first level of enlightenment. And the observer is also, you know, is going towards enlightenment. So why would I use such a low vibration methodology of spiritual inventory? A 12 step inventory is like, is it a, you know, it's a correlation to the seven deadly sins. Is it affecting my uh, self esteem? Self, am I self seeking, making anything my higher power? Uh, am I being, uh, you know, self selfish, self seeking, dishonest, and fear? Am I in fear? as the reason why I'm carrying out this, you know, this, uh, this action or having this fear or resentment. And then I pray to God to remove it. Dear God, please remove my fear that I won't have access to my money by banks, you know, for example, and pray to God to remove that. Well, I sort of see the one great, there's a few things which the 12 steps bring, which I think are very, very grounding, which uh, generally speaking, Course in Miracle groups don't do. And well, that is to have a spiritual sponsor to witness your inventory and to be working a spiritual program and to be quite tuned in to spirit and also to be sharing their experience with you in feedback as you share your inventory, which I think is a little bit like confession, isn't it? You know, I've, I've sinned, these are the sins I've done today. I've been self-seeking, I've been selfish, I've been dishonest, I've been fearful. fearful. And then he goes like, well, you're in your defects and just, you know, pray for these things to be removed. But I think, you know, there's a thing of like doing it on your own and getting someone to listen to this stuff and then reflect to them, uh, give you a reflection, like a priest would give a reflection, you know, and, uh, and they're quite tuned in. So I think the process of having a spiritual witness and being held by the groups and having that, you know, the 12 steps, you know, t is the, you know, the leading, I would say, the leading light in the world for taking addicts and turning them into saints. You'll get someone who's like a drug addict, and then three months later, they're spending their whole life helping other drug addicts get well. So that's like addiction to sainthood within a few months. There is no other program that's doing that for millions of addicts around the world, taking people from the pits to the light in a rapid, you know, so it's extremely powerful. So if I can get that with uh, the people in the money fellowship, I think it, it's also like some, and do the Course of Miracles, and do the Observer. You know, uh, and I'm going to be answering another question, but it does tie into that. You know, it's like you're getting, you're getting the things that you're holding on to that still have identification blasted at, away from various different ways. You're getting the 12 steps to blast it away. These limiting ideas you're still holding. You're getting the Course of Miracles to blast it away. God did not create that idea. It's not really you're going to the witnesser. So you're, you're dissolving it on three different levels simultaneously. And I, 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 for me, like, the thing of like, even though The Course in Miracles is more advanced literature, it's at a higher vibration than the 12 steps, but you get the group energy and the witness of the sponsor, which you don't, you know, like a lot of Course in Miracles students, they, you know, they get together once a week for a group and then they're on their own. And then they don't get to share, you know, the thing with a sponsor that's holding the space for them on a regular basis. You know, the sponsor thing like needs to help you to get his his reprieve from divinity himself. So he's very vested he's got a huge vested interest in being a spiritual channel to help you to release so that that's a privilege to get that uh, that that level of spiritual support from another person trying to hold hold a high light to relieving your you know, the rubbish you're identifying with. So the three, so the, the 12 steps have the group energy field and the sponsor helping you to release. The Course in Miracles has very, very powerful non-dualistic things like there's nothing to forgive, it's not real, it's an illusion, don't, I don't, it's meaningless, total meaningless rubbish. And the witnesser, just going to the witnesser of all of the thoughts is also very powerful. But each of them have different pros and cons. Um, now the thing is, when you're, if you're in bliss and in the silence, you don't need to do that. But if stuff does come up, you know, it's utilizing what will get rid of the stuff ASAP, you know, so that there's no longer any 
identification with the stuff. So for me, it's like whether, you know, to some extent, whether you're using the 12 step prayers, the course prayers, or going to the witness zone. Um, it depends how heavy the identification is. Certain things may be more, uh, you don't know what would be more beneficial. The, only th the other thing with the mystical thing of the 12 steps, because it's such a powerful field, like if you go to a 12 step group that's releasing illu illusory ideas based on money, you know, there is a great benefit because the whole fellowship is becoming aware of the typical identifications of thoughts which are due to money beliefs. So that you know, there is a light that's coming into that field. Whereas if you just go into a Course in Miracles group, where we're just doing God did not create it, you don't get that focus just on money beliefs. It's not really zoomed in. It's more on the level of identification of thought. So there, you know, like the the alcohol twelve step fellowships is really zoomed on the uh, the false ideas to do with alcohol. Like a, a sex twelve step fellowship is due. To false ideas due to identifications with sex and relationship, the money ones. So, whereas the Course is just a general thing on all thoughts, all my thoughts are meaningless. Or well, the witnesser is it, forget identifying this world and just go into that which is not identified. So there's different benefits. So I'm answering the question, not necessarily, I mean it's like, and I think mystically on a journey, it's like, um, it's like I still, you know, like I see myself as a teacher of the Course in Miracles and the Witnesser in whatever function I'm capable of doing that, but also in the 12 steps, you know, and, and that's like, you know, the, the, uh, the messaging comes out uh, in a different form depending on what the audience is. So it's just the capacity to transcribe spiritual states to different audiences at different vibrations. But I also think there's a benefit of being able to share at different vibrations as well. You know, if you're, share, you're trying to share, because you get different audiences. And so, like, there's, a, there's large audiences of alcoholics or drug addicts or people who use debt, whereas the audiences for A Course in Miracles is much more narrow. And the audience for the witnesser is even more narrow. So, you know, it's just, it's just the way it is. Because I come from a very dark addict background, but then I'm also, I've been through the course, and then also interested in non-duality and the witnesser. So there is like, you know, it's just how divinity wants to express. And I, I find benefit. Actually, I still find benefit in 12 step groups, because it's like, yeah, I think it is the thing, like, what is the Course in Miracles lesson? It says something around this, isn't it? Like, you know, in, in sharing the message, it's strengthening yourself. I think it says something in there. You know, so, so if, I can, if I can share the message of the witness, sir, if I can share the message of the Course in Miracles, and if I can share the message of getting free of the, from addiction, it's also strengthening in myself immunity to all those different levels of identification. So it's like you know, just having insurance policies, and insurance policies against being a mad, uh, a mad addict. Insurance policy against uh, with the Course of Miracles that comes from that, and the and the insurance policy from the witnesser. Okay, so. <laughs>